All right, the holidays are over. We've moved on to a new year, the gluttony. <laughs> I think we've all experienced it. Whew. So it's time to think about healthier options. And when I think healthy, of course, we think Sherry Clark from Fork in the Road. But let's face it, we've talked about this a million times, Jason Parkin. When you think steamed vegetables, when you think salads, you know that's things you should be eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But man, can they get boring fast. They so can. thank you for joining us this morning and giving us some creative ideas of how to stay full, stay healthy into the new year. I just have to say, this is quite a frock you have on. Is that <laughs> what it is? What it. is that called? I love Thank it. It's amazing. You. Look at this, folks. That's where, where do you get something like that? Well, I confided earlier that I just got home from New Year's Eve, so <laughs> she's <laughs> still partying. I, I, just, I just said the holidays over, are over, and Sherry's Man, still uh, was living it up. I would have come to that party. <laughs> this is actually vintage. I wear vintage clothes. I I like them in this. So this is probably you from the 60s. Clothes. I just have old clothes, so vintage yeah. is good. <laughs> vintage is I'm gonna start calling them vintage. But it's something that we've talked about many times is it, it, a way to keep vegetables or healthy food from being boring, boring is to yes. make it festive, make it beautiful. And that's what you've done here today for us. These are some gorgeous plates. Isn't that, and the color is great. Well, listen, I get asked the same questions a lot of times over and over, a little kind of a different riff on the questions, but they boil down to how do I eat healthy? How do I keep it interesting? How do I do it on a budget? Right. Um, how do I plan the week? And so I've got some answers here all in mm. one plate. One plate. Mm. Boom. cabbage a -rama. cabbage of palooza Cabbage of Palooza Arama. <laughs> so what we've done, I, I, what I did, a lot of times for meal planning, people say, well, how do I plan a meal? How do I, how do I get ready for the week? So you go with all good intentions to the store on Sunday and you buy a whole bunch of stuff and by Thursday half of it's bad because you haven't loosed it and you, didn't have, you haven't used it. Don't have a plan and whatever. So I'm going to start with something inexpensive and in season, and it's cabbage. Cabbage. It's Healthy. in season, huh? It's in, it's uh, yeah. It's it's more abundant this time of year. More huh. really? likely to use it. Yep. Okay. So and it also it's also we had talked in the last segment about cancer. It's also um, anti-cancer. It's a really, really really I didn't know that either. Very nutritious, um, and it's inexpensive. So. I decided to build a whole three different entrees around that. Looks okay. amazing. So if you start, Jackie, on your far right okay. is the a Easy Asian Salad. And what I wanted easy to do, the criteria Asian. for this was it has to use some common ingredients, and it had to be easy to make, and it had to keep for a long time. Okay. So the Easy Asian Salad fits all those criteria. All it is is shredded cabbage and carrots. I made a very simple dressing out of garlic, Whistle Ooh, right now, everybody's in, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, I, I, I was smelling something, so that's yep. probably the garlic. A little garlic. bit of soy sauce, lemon juice, and olive oil. And that's basically it. I garnished it with sesame seeds. Any specific cabbage that you're using for this? I used a purple cabbage. You can use a green. Um, Is it called would purple work. cabbage? It's called purple cabbage, yeah. Some people call it red, but they're the outliers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy I do. So, it's really good, real, and it is really easy. So you can use that as a side dish. It would go really well with. <laughs> it is good. It's good. <laughs> We go, Brent, we're going to go to your close-up when you take a bite, but it is excellent. It's excellent. <laughs> it's savory. A lot of times when you think cabbage or coleslaw or things like that, you think a little more sweet. Yeah. This does have a wonderful. Uh, it's got a, a nice savory. savory yes, and I like the texture to it. Uh -huh. You can eat a whole big pile of it. You can dress it up if you wanted to. <laughs> big, um, pile. A big pile. Big pile. Can you back off? On it? If you could put, if if you're a carnivore and you wanted to put a grilled salmon, like that's not salmon my salmon or chicken, chicken would be great on there. Be amazing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that what, that's step one. That's it's a little good. bit more on the savory that's side. Okay. Uh, and the degree of difficulty on this is probably a two. Okay. So moving up to the degree of difficulty of a three okay. is the other salad, and it's degree a higher degree of difficulty because there's more ingredients. Okay. So what I've got there is again shredded cabbage. Shredded cabbage. I've got shredded beet because you know I love oh, that, yep. and they're so oh, pretty beets. together. They are just that whole dark, rich, beautiful color. I cut up an apple. I mm -hmm. used a delicious apple in this one because I wanted something with a little sweet. And there's blueberries in there. I love blueberries. Isn't that great? So this is great little combination, a different kind of a dressing. Really okay. Good. But once again, I wanted to use common denominator ingredients mm. because we don't want to buy a lot of things at the store. So there's soy sauce in that dressing as well. Huh. Orange juice. Oh wow. And a little bit of oil. I think my kids and would actually eat this. I, this are, are you marinating the cabbage or you're just No, putting, you I know? just just before I came yummy. on, you know, three minutes ago I stuck the dressing on the this top. Really and, good. Yeah. Did you just use a manual just shredder or how did you cut it up? Um, I use a food processor with a shredding blade but okay. you could use a box grater and just take the head of cabbage be careful because when it gets down to the core you're gonna be close your hands gonna be close to the, the blade right 
But a box grater is uh, inexpensive. You can get them at the dollar store. They stand up and you just shred the cabbage. You can buy shredded cabbage at the store in the bag already. This works so, so well. So if you want this though. to be really simple, buy the bag, make my dressing, dump it on there, boom, you're done. And I didn't know all the health benefits of cabbage, but we've talked about the health benefits of beets before. Yeah, and and cabbage is great. It, uh, all of these these are very high fiber vegetables, so that's another good thing. So it'll help keep you keep the party going. Love how we're keeping it interesting, but also. <laughs> If you ate uh, everything on this plate, you would be full. Yeah, exactly. Because that's a big thing. I, I don't want to call it I'm dieting because we want to make healthier choices. Excuse me, I'm still chewing. But the biggest thing for me is I'll eat something healthy and then I'm like, I'm still hungry. But right. you would be full. And and you those. wouldn't be bored if you just picked one. These are This is actually three meal ideas. You could also do it this way. It wasn't that much work, truly. I mean, I brought everything and just as assembled it on the set. So the final piece. Final piece. Uh -oh. um, and so, and this one is a, a zero degree of difficulty because right. I took a cabbage leaf. I have store-bought hummus that I plopped in there, and then some. Uh, I just cut up some crudite on the top to I, decorate. I was going to say somewhere in here we need protein, and you get it with the, the chickpeas. Yeah. Uh -huh. The yep. hummus. Exactly. And, right. and I think you'll find this to be really tasty. You can do it a couple ways. You can eat it um, like like you're oh. doing so great. Like a scoop. Or when, uh, I like her idea. Okay. I'm yeah, you can right. roll it like it's a burrito and just bite into it or like a little taco. Okay. And um, I brought you a napkin just in case. So And it's fabulous. And it's got nice texture, contrast. Yeah, I like it. The, uh, the hummus is creamy and there's the crunch from the, the um, cabbage. People always say, you know, crunch matters. If you can have something that's crunchy, mm. it makes a difference. It makes yes. you feel full. It feels more satisfying when you eat something and it's true it is true it gives your mouth a workout and you feel like you've got some <laughs> you go your mouth doesn't need any more workout yeah. <laughs> yeah, bad look. this is tasty isn't that great mm -hmm. so it, and you can mm. t change the condiments you can do a different hummus you could switch out a hummus instead of doing that you could do guacamole just some shredded vegetables so think of the cabbage mm. leaf as being a substitute mm. for bread it's a wrap that's good it almost has a kick to it too. you can Did wear you it put for anything on it? no reminds me in and out oh, burger when they'd say animal style you, you put the thing right on here as, as your bun. At. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hummus and cheeseburger. Super simple. Like, these are things they're very anybody simple. can do. And remember, uh, cabbage and carrots are the, the mainstays. Apples, those all last for a really for long, a long time. time. Right. So you if you buy them this week and you get invited out a lot and you say, oh, I didn't get to use it, it's still going to be good next week. And give us recommendations yeah. if we're storing it in our fridge. Do you have any yes, other I do. way of doing it? Of course. In the, in the refrigerator, um, you're going to want to keep it, it not in the coldest, coldest part in okay. any of those because they do have some water content, so you don't want things to freeze. I keep all of those things in the crisper drawer. Okay. If I buy apples in bulk, I'll keep my overflow in the garage, although probably not this week with it going down to eight and right. a below zero Ooh. kind Depends of wind on the garage, chill. Yeah. yeah, so if your garage has some insulation, that's going to be plenty cool enough. So keep things cool, keep them moist. All right, another great, uh, great way to stay on track if you're trying to make healthier choices in the new year is a Kickstarter, Sherry. Yes, yes, I'm doing a program. I'm so excited about this. It's this Sunday on our, on our cold weather day, so it's a good day to be inside with me. Right. Um, I'm doing a Kickstarter. It's a three-hour session. Um, where I'm teaching people some of the basics of healthy eating. Mm. You can learn more about it by giving me a call at 515-249-2992. Shoot me an email at info at fork-road.com or just let me know that you're interested and I'll get you in. It's this Sunday and next Sunday. It's the same class repeated. You don't have to do it two yeah, times. And you've made such a difference in, in, in my life and the way I eat and I, I would highly recommend that. You know, Thank you. I'm, I'm certainly a lot healthier than before I met you. So. And you're fantastic about getting in yeah. touch with if people want recipes, even Yes. as basic as this, there's a place they can go. This is fun, people. I really want people to look forward to it and say, you know what? The way that she she made it look so easy, and darn, it is. Mm -hmm. So fork-road.com for more details. Check out the Kickstarter happening this Sunday. Sherry, thank you so much and bringing some delicious things that are yeah, getting man. us on the right yeah. track of being healthy in the new year. Absolutely. Happy New Year. We'll be back with more on Great Day on KCWY.